and everyone from a very tired mouse. Oh, I've just up and out this morning from for some meetings uh, to my favourite place, Ozone, which is a coffee and like brunch place in East London. Um, wearing this coat every single day because it's just so good. It's like really oversized and big and it even comes with a little um, vest, a warm vest attached on the inside. It's from Half Boy. Very cool. Don't know why I sent it to me. <laughs> it was a gift. Um, and yeah, what to report? I'm just feeling very tired. I am as tired as I look. Uh, I just need another early night. I think the shoot took more from me than I thought. And yeah, I I just am very tired, but very happy, just very tired. Need to just have a big rest today. So I've got a couple of meetings now. And then I think I'm just gonna ask Lizzie to cook me my tea, to be honest, and that's it. <laughs> um, I put an offer in on a flat. When I say offer, it's how it is in London. You have to offer even a rental price because it's insane. I think there's like 10 of us going for this flat. So I'm like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But if it's not, then it's fine. I put my best offer in. So hopefully find out about that today, which would be so lovely. My mum keeps ringing me. Have you, have you heard yet? Have you heard yet? I'm like, Sue, calm down. No. Um, but yeah, because I said like, I don't even want to be here that much. I still want to feel like I've got a home and like, I still really want to love where I live. Um, so yeah, so it's the first place I've walked into and was like immediate yes. And it's very different to my current situation, my current like warehousey style. It's like more homely, but just very beautiful. So here's hoping. And um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and um, I will catch with you later. Hello guys. Hope you're all well today. Um, I finished all my little meetings. I've just been at home chilling. Um, I just, I, you know, when you feel like dizzy from being tired, my eyes go do, 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 like a little twitch. I might just have to have a little nap. Now I've done all my work before I go to Lizzie's for tea. She's going to cook me my tea, so I'm very lucky, very spoiled today. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and talk to you about a new serum that I've been sent. And as you probably understand with this job, it is, how do I say this? It's a bit gross, the amount of stuff we get sent. And it was particularly um, jarring when I came back from Costa Rica to a house full of un like an unbelievable amount of packages that I have since donated to charity. And because it is just out of hand and like it's stuff, I don't request stuff. Like, I never ask for anything. I never want anything like... I'll get top ups of products that I use and love, of course, and but that's that's it. Like I don't know, it's it's too much for me. Like even more so now I've been in Costa Rica and ha enjoyed that lifestyle so much. However, <laughs> I was sent this am amazing serum, and a few of my friends have tried it and said it was so good. So I really did want to try it for my own skin, and it's this one by Riome. I think I'm saying it right. It's honestly beautiful. This is the Active Recovery Broth serum concentrate and it's like it smells firstly it smells incredible and secondly it's just really like plumping and energizing and it just my skin was like this beautiful glowy like face i put it on last night and i put it on this morning and but like i said i'm tired but it's honestly so good I'm really, really impressed with it. Este actually got me onto it as well. A potent blend of bio-fermented and bio... Sorry, what? Biomimetric actives to nourish, hydrate and awaken skin. Slowly massage into clean skin morning and evening. So cool. It's just so beautiful as well. Anyway, that was all I came on to say. And I'm just going to go back to watching Vampire Diaries and maybe having this small nap before I go to Lizzie's house because I'm fit to drop today. This is what London does to me. This is why I gotta go again. Um, but I have a lovely rest of your day and I'll speak to you in a bit. I went to wave, I decided against it. Okay, I'm going. Hello everyone. I'm at Elizabeth's house. Hello, Hi everyone, she's back from New York. She's back. She's cooked for us. What you salads, made? Broccoli, um, black bean, red onion, garlic, avocado with lime dressing and peanuts. Oh, this is that a recipe book, I'm making it sound like I just rustled that She's up. so good, she never used to be able to cook at all, and now she can. Just thanks to the one, the roasting tin series. <laughs> this is squash with kale and tamarind and hazelnuts. She's done an absolute solid, and we just got a bit of bread on the side there for good measure, because we might need some carbs. 
But yes, I feel very lucky and spoiled. Hello guys. I've just got back from Lizzie's. It's freezing outside and I'm so ready for bed. It's quarter to nine and I am going straight there now. Little mouse mode is fully activated and we are shattered. Um, I raided, well, I didn't raid because Lizzie's just so amazing with books and just has the best recommendations always. Um, and she's built the most beautiful mini library at home, which is just like her all over. Um, and I need some new books. So she recommended two. She pulled two from her private stock, which is very, very good of her. And she didn't say anything about it because normally she gives me a massive lecture about how I treat books because I don't treat books well. I bend them back, I crack the spines, I get them wet, I fold pages over. So I'm just gonna really look after them. Anyway, this one is absolutely wrecked, which is maybe why she's given it to me actually in hindsight. <laughs> It's really wrecked. Anyway, it's called Choke and it's by Chuck Palahunik, Hun Hunuk, um, and he's the author of Fight Club. And she said it's just an amazing, an amazing book that I won't be able to put down. So I'm really looking forward to that. Apparently it's about a man who frauds everyone and like get loads of get gets loads of payouts from restaurants by pretending to choke everywhere he goes and there's like lots of twists and turns and cool things that happen and then the other one is that everyone knows about i am pilgrim and it's massive obviously she said but it's like a thousand pages but an unbelievable book and i i mean i think i've maybe owned this about four times and i've never never read it so i will give it a go but i'm going to read the one that's called choke first um so those are my two book club recommendations via lizzie hadfield because yeah, she's the best. Um, I'm going to go now. I've got a bit of a headache coming. I just need to go to sleep. But I hope you've all had a lovely day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. From a very happy mouse this morning because I just got a phone call to say I got my offer accepted on my flat, my new flat. So that's so exciting. So I'll go to Costa Rica. And then when I come back, I, I move in. Um, so I better start packing some stuff up, hadn't I? I'm so happy, honestly, like, I'm just so happy. The The flat is beautiful and perfect. And in, like, a new area, like, similar to where I am, but, like, just a bit more towards everything that I actually hang around most days. So, yeah, and I was just concerned that it wasn't really close to Studio Anatomy, which is my Pilates studio in London, but it is. It's closer. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. Um, It's, yeah, it's going to be really good and like they want it to just happen really quickly so I can get it all sorted before I go away in two weeks I'm just gonna slowly gently just start packing things into boxes so that when the time comes to move like we're away and it's really good oh <sighs> just such a relief uh, all morning I've been looking at my phone and waiting for it to ring and willing it to ring and it did and she was like hi how are you and I was like I'm good how are you and then she was like well I have some great news she said, congratulations. I was like, stop. And I was in um, ASOP buying a gift for a friend. And the staff were like, what? And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And they were like, what, what's happened? So I got off the phone and like all the staff in the shop were just really sweet to me. They're like, congratulations. I was like, honestly, guys, I have been um, to so many viewings and they've all been terrible. So it's like really nice. Oh, what a lovely day. And it's so beautiful and sunny today. Oh. Hopefully I have a really good light as well in my new flat. Got a garden. Oh my God, this is going to be great. So the time that I am here, I'm going to really enjoy being here in that flat. But yes, having a nice morning and yeah, just going to fill out my paperwork because they've sent it already. And then me and Lizzie are going for girls dinner tonight. We're going to go to, oh, what's it called? St. John. Um, Lizzie said it was one of the best meals she's had in London and I have never been and we had to book it a couple months ago so we're going to do that and go and maybe I'll have a wine to celebrate um, yeah so it's really good a really lovely day ahead and yes feeling very lucky and I'm going to crack on with this paperwork now so I can get it all sorted um, but yeah let the packing commence <laughs> she is. my date always <laughs> Hi everyone from the studio of my favourite facialist, KMP, Catherine Patterson. Um, she came to Armani Raids and I just adore her and she's honestly incredible with her hands. She's got a studio, I've told you about her before, in, um, in central London and it's just beautiful. 
like this is like a proper duvet i've got no trousers on you can probably see that in the mirror great um and everything's just so chic like look it's just gorgeous and she's just incredible with facial massage and really understanding what your skin needs and works with loads of different brands to really tailor everything to you um and yeah i always come to see her because she's just heaven and we're just gonna have the biggest catch up now as well um so yeah i just i love it here it's always so cozy and smells so good good morning everybody it's friday today um i hope you're all really well i am just getting myself ready to go off up north for the weekend friday to monday i'm going because the trains are all a bonk so um i'm not gonna be able to make it back to london for the weekend at any point so i'm just gonna stay there all weekend because it's mother's day in the uk so tonight the plan is catch up with my best friends laura and adina at home adina's got a hot tub in the garden so she's like girls it's heating up it's ready <laughs> bring your swimmers so that's what we're doing tonight which is gonna be so fun and um they've both got little girls little kids and so we all always get together with the babies and we did a couple of weekends ago you can't you can't have an, a conversation like and it's gorgeous to be with the kids obviously but we were like right we need no kids after bedtime this time to actually sit and go through everything and catch up so i'm looking forward to that and then tomorrow i'm gonna hang out with my brother and my baby nephew george for the day i think we're gonna take him out somewhere and then on sunday it's mother's day so i mum doesn't know i'm coming home for the weekend she's gone off for the weekend away with dad so when they get back, I'll be there. And then we're, we're all got a surprise lunch booked for mum. She just, I think she just thinks we don't give a crap. I think she just, she's like, um, is it okay if I have a, a voucher for um, get my like nails and hair and everything done um, for Mother's Day? I was like, yeah, of course. Not said anything else about it. Um, she's like, she keeps trying to make a date to come here to see me before I go back to Costa Rica. And I just keep like being really evasive with it. She must be like, oh, Lindsay don't want to see me. <laughs> so I'm just dying to get to Sunday so she knows that we love her. <laughs> So we're doing that um so it's gonna be really nice i'll take you along i always I, I never really vlog when i'm at home just because it's so like family and friend focused and we're all just like oh catching up but i'll i'll do my best to take you along this weekend because otherwise this vlog is gonna be very short um but yeah maybe i'll take you to the hot hot tub tonight <laughs> see what that's all about um yeah and that's about it for me really i've had a really nice week um caught, caught up with lots of people got quite a bit of work done yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna put some Skin Rocks the moisturizer on because Caroline Hirons is a genius and this is my favorite moisture, it's like nearly gone. I'm gonna send me some more, which is really kind. Um, I've already put the Riome Serum on, put it on as soon as I wake up because it literally just, oh, it's beautiful and it just wakes, you, wakes your face up. This is like one of the best moisturizers I've ever used under makeup. It's so glowy without being, um, like without letting your makeup run off it if that makes sense it's like really absorbent but it feels beautiful on um yeah and i had my facial yesterday with kmp which is gorgeous and i've just got like a couple blemishes that have come up from that like extraction and just basically your skin purges a bit doesn't it when you've had um a treatment like that <clears throat> um i don't know what else i've got to tell you what else is going on not a lot guys i'm just happy pottering getting closer to leaving for costa rica so i'm very very excited um works good like marnie's is all just amazing yeah it's gonna be just so great we've booked all our flights for portugal this week um yeah it's gonna be brilliant but I don't think I've got anything else to tell you. I always say this and then we always, we're always here for 10 more minutes, aren't we? I'm knackered today. Just slept terribly actually, but it's all fine. Um, I've got a little mouse eyes every day this week. I just must be adapting to life back in London. Oh God, everything's done with my flat as well. Everything's done so that I can move in when I get back from Costa Rica, which is good and not stressful. I'm just gonna start packing the house bit by bit, like next week just get some boxes and start putting things in the boxes just to make it like a bit easier um yep and honestly i think that's it very boring for me this morning i'm really sorry but i will take you along this weekend at points where i can um yeah i'm going i'm just gonna go and do my makeup and um 
Yeah, thanks for all watching last week as well. Really appreciate it. And I'm sorry it wasn't as like busy as usual. I yeah, didn't do a lot this week. I haven't done a lot this week either, so thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Hello everybody from Stockport. I am walking from mum and dad to the gym. They are on the way to Harrogate. Mum is none the wiser that I'm here. She's like, what are you doing at London this weekend? I was like, oh, I'm really busy, Mum. Just with friends. She's like, oh, nice, have a nice time. <laughs> Poor thing. I hope she's going to be pleasantly surprised on Sunday when I arrive, unexpectedly. Um, so I'm going to go and do some cardio and some legs in the gym, even though I really <laughs> do not feel like it. Can't warm up, so at least that's going to make me warm. I've just come down a pathway that I used to walk down every single day to school that we used to call dog shit alley for reasons that are very obvious <laughs> um yeah it's weird being back there here actually um and then i'm just gonna get myself ready for hot tub night with the girls <laughs> and that's it the house is upside down at mum and dad's loads of work then in the kitchen having a new kitchen the, the kitchen's in the bathroom the bathroom's in the conservatory <laughs> so uh yeah anyway just gonna go in the gym. I'll try and film a bit in the gym. I'm gonna be absolutely blowing because I've not been all week, which is not good. Um, so yeah, it's always hard to get back into it, isn't it, when you've had a bit of time off, but I really do enjoy it and I know that I'll be, I'll be very thankful by the time I've done this. I'm just gonna hammer the gym all weekend whilst I'm here because the gym's not far from mum and dad's. So yeah, I'm just trying to get back into it before. I need to get my cardio up for, surfing because when because you have to paddle so much um and the waves are strong and it takes some of the breaks that i go to in costa rica are really long <laughs> it takes so long to paddle out um, and by the time i get out there i'm like someone just pulled me <laughs> so i need to like work on my cardio fitness a bit more because i'm strong but I, i'm blowing by the time i've been out there for an hour so i want to be like really fit at it as well and this is the only way. So yes, I'll take you along as much as I can. I get all embarrassed in the gym if I'm trying to film something now, so bear with me. Hell wet, guys. Good Lord. Well, I did my best filming in there, but to respect everybody's privacy, it was the worst job I've ever done of it. There was this really lovely lady next to me who was just doing a stretch and she was like, is this Matt taken? I was like, no, no, go for it. And I was like, oh God, I can't film now, but obviously I would never be like, excuse me, can you move? Um, and she was having a lovely stretch. She was so nice. Um, anyway, I thought I was going to fall down every single stair that I came down out of that gym. My legs have gone. I've just got a horrible protein shake, but got to get it in. And I'm just going to go and chill. I've got a bit of work to do before I go and see the girls. But yeah just walking my little nostalgic walk back <laughs> to my mum and dad's I'm gonna see my brother Mike um, and that's about it really I need to just calm down lie down for a bit I was feeling a bit funny today and that gym session just really really helped um, honestly the endorphins I just love exercise so much even though I don't feel like it sometimes it just is the absolute best thing for me my brain my body I just feel so much better after I do it um, it's really big and important part of my life plus like I say I've got to get paddling out in the water <laughs> hi guys I promised I'd vlog when we got to Adina's house we haven't yet got in the hot tub but she has done a very good little spread for us we've all, also ordered a takeaway she's laughing at me here Laura's being as nosy as she always is and going through <laughs> Adina's calendar <laughs> but we are in the calendar aren't we are we mm. Oh yeah, oh, I thought there was a picture, I was like, well, we're not buying <laughs> No, we're not, no, there's no picture of us in the calendar, it just says Laura and Lindsay on the day that we're here. Well, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to have a beer. Laura's been here for two minutes and she's dropped the all down herself. But we're going to eat and then, eat and then hot tub. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adina's texting us for about an hour saying, I'm bored, where are you? I'm bored, where are you? But I broke the stair gate at Laura's house by sitting on it and it dragged off the wall, so we had to then drill it back on and supervise. I'm also loving Michael McIntyre being in the calendar and underneath it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God's sake. Right guys, our food is ordered. Carry on. Oh. 
Everyone stops doing what their normal behaviour is when I get this phone out <laughs> and Dean is over here pissing himself. Please, when I get hummus on your <laughs> We've ordered some um, Lebanese food and, and we're very excited. It's like half eight, guys. We've got to get in the hot tub yet. We've not even done that. It's half eight. It's Already. Fine. It's well late. My eye's twitching. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep stop talking? I'm trying to press play. <laughs> Did, and people used to put it on blow jits or something. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Like, before that. Look at your face. They're not your slippers. They're going to turn around. You've got half your foot hanging on the back. That's why I didn't have often flip flops. I was like, it's going to be like a half flop. They're not wearing my slippers. We have worn them. And then she went, I can live with your arm. I'm like, what? Struggle. Yeah, that's why I didn't have often flip flops. I was like, struggle. I've got big feet, okay? Right, we've just been comparing swimsuits, and mine doesn't even fit my vagina, and these two are in full, like, Full I've covering. Got <laughs> you got what? She, oh, she's though. got cleavage out, but mine's tiny. My, my boobs are barely contained. <laughs> I have got so much cleavage. I've got change before, Joe. See, this is going to get Right, guys, we're outside. This is the hot tub. Oh, I can't wait to get it. It's absolutely pissing freezing. I'm getting in. Are you going to carry on talking or not? <laughs> <laughs> I've got priorities. <laughs> Right, I am going to go now, guys, because we've got Prosecco, Prosecco in the hot tub and things. Alcohol and being hot makes you more drunk, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Adina's favourite thing. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Good morning, everybody. From Stockport, and I'm just going to the gym. Um, I'm going to head off to the gym and do some arms and cardio today. Yesterday was really hard. <laughs> Um, and then my little nephew George is going to be here, so me and my brother are looking after him all day, which is going to be gorgeous. Um, and I think we maybe, probably, hopefully, going to take him out if it just doesn't rain. It's only seven months, so it's like not really fun, is it, for a baby in the rain? Um, can't wait to see him. And then, then what? Then I think I'm going to make my brother go on a sibling date with me. We're going to maybe go out for tea together and, um, gonna try and talk him into come and see Dune 2 with me because I really want to see it but it is long so and I've not been lasting very long long weight wise I mean at the hot tub last night we were in there till flipping half 11 and I was like guys I can't go home I'm knackered <laughs> so I've had a massive sleep which is so nice and yeah feeling good just want to get in the gym get this done and then because the kitchen's being done we've got no like means of cooking or anything like that so i was like mike i'm gonna have to go to the sandwich shop aren't i You're like what do you want it's like bacon and egg butty <laughs> so i'll go and pick those up on the way home from the gym and yeah that's it today i'll yeah i'll try and take you along with any bits that i do um i'm just really aware that like i want to take you to like events and things that are happening and not just I know it's nice to have a chat and everything, but I don't want to be—I don't want it to be boring to watch for you either. Um, but <coughs> excuse me, that's today. Very calm family day, so let's see where I get to. But I hope you're all really well and that you're having a lovely weekend as well. And now we'll catch up with you very soon. Hello, everybody. It's Monday today, and I have just got back from Stockport. Um, I'm shattered. I didn't sleep well last night, but it's fine. I was watching Vampire Diaries too late, and then I had vampire dreams <laughs> what more do we expect <laughs> i hope you're all really well i had a lovely weekend um yeah i'm sorry i wasn't able to take you too much along with the family bits and bobs it was just a very family heavy weekend and it was gorgeous but i never like getting my camera right everyone gets annoyed with me so i'm like okay i can do it to the girls even though they stop talking every time i do that um but yeah family's like another thing and it's a bit more sacred <laughs> If that makes sense. So I've just been to the shops and I've got some rye bread and some eggs and some avocado. And I'm just going to cook some lunch and make a cup of tea. Um, and that's it really today. I think I'm going to go out this evening, maybe go pop and see Lizzie and then maybe go to the pub for a beer. Um, I know it's a Monday, but I need to catch up with a friend who's in town only for like two to two days. And, and she was like, can we have, go to a proper London pub and go for a beer? So I was like, yes, I can do that. Um... 
not me explaining myself as to why I'm having a beer on a Monday. I can have a beer on a Monday if I want. Um, and yeah, I've got such a nice week this week. It's just absolutely packed with catching up with people and some work bits and just getting myself ready because this time next week I'll be packed and ready to go back to Costa Rica. So yeah, I cannot flipping wait. Uh, so yeah, actually, so that means then the next week's vlog, oh no, week after next will be from Costa Rica. So yeah, I can't wait to take you along for a lot of that as well. It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go off now and just have some food and a brew. And then if anything happens, I'll catch up with you in a bit. But I'm sorry, it's not been a very um, active week. And I hope that's still okay. Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday today. I had a very eventful Monday. Got back from Stockport to, well, what can only be described as a gas leak at my apartment. So the gas safety people were out. It was all sorted and fine, but yeah, just a bit, um, a bit of a weird one and didn't make me feel very safe. So I didn't stay here last night. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's all, it's all safe now. And then they come in today to like fix the problem and stuff. So just mental, you never hear of this, do you? I'm like, what? The gas? What's happening? Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll all be good. I hope that this vlog's been okay. I know it's been very chatty, not very eventful, um, but I've had like a really slow, gorgeous weekend and week, to be honest. So yeah, I hope that's okay. And things will ramp up when I get to Costa Rica and maybe next week too. So yeah, I thank you very much for sticking around with me. And it's miserable and raining in London today. It's not good, but I'm gonna make a cup of tea and sit and do some work. And yeah, that is the end of this week's vlog. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you're all really good and you had a lovely weekend and everything and I will speak to you very soon. Also next week I'm going to try harder to just put some more um, fashion-y bits and outfits in there. I just have been, yeah, I just have just been dressing for pure comfort this week and it's nothing groundbreaking and not really trying very hard with it. So I always think, oh God, you don't want to see that. So yeah, um, I know a few of you asked about the knitted jumper from last week that I wear all the time. It's from Half Boy. I did reply to people as well but I'll yeah even when I'm just sitting and stuff I'll, I'll put the links because I always forget to do that um but yeah thank you so much and I will see you in a week